You can flip it too. Good morning, my friends. Uh, it is, what day is it? Is it the 24th? It is September 24th, 2020. I had to think about what month it was. <laughs> it's kind of like, you know, we're all in this like, twilight zone type life and you know it's hard to know what day it is uh especially the date right oh look i can hear myself talking i always love when that happens uh hang on let me turn myself down here uh let's see couple exciting things well especially one exciting thing happened this morning literally 12 minutes ago katie um called me and as you know in our family if you call someone the fur if it's not an emergency the first thing you have to do is say it's not an emergency or nothing, or usually we say nothing's wrong. And then you start your conversation because we don't usually call each other in our family. We usually text. Sometimes Colin and I actually email each other more. Uh, you know, I mean, so we just have different, uh, we just usually don't use the phone. And so, uh, in fact, one time Kirsten texted me and said, hey, Steph, can you call me when you wake up? Cause it was like four in the morning or something. Well, I didn't see it until I woke up. So I called her and I said, hey, what's up? And she said, oh, nothing's wrong. And I said, oh, okay. And she said, well, I'm in the emergency room and I'm having my appendix taken out. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay, honey, that cons const constitutes an emergency. <laughs> I said, why didn't you call me? She goes, well, I didn't want to wake you up. Now, had that been Katie, the world would have frozen. The world would have ended at that exact moment she got entered into the emergency room. She would have called every single person on her contact list at least five times to make sure everyone was there to help her through this. Kirsten, on the other hand, is like, oh, I didn't want to wake you up. So um, that's the difference on my two children. Am I right, Kenny? That is like absolutely the exact what my children are. Uh, let's see, Cookie, stop. Cookie, stop licking. Uh, let's see. So, I'm sorry, back to why Katie called. So Katie called, she goes, well, it's kind of not an urgent thing. And I go, okay, what? She goes, there's a mouse in my house. And I go, ooh, and she goes, ah! And she starts screaming, she goes, there it is! And I, so then I start screaming. And keep in mind, we're just like in this little um, crafting closet here. It literally just echoes off the walls. Then I start screaming, I go, jump on a chair! And so we're screaming, I'm screaming, she's screaming. She has a worker there working on something, I don't even know what. And she's like, I'm gonna pay the worker 20 bucks to get the mouse out of my house. And I said, well, that's a good idea, but he couldn't find the mouse. And she literally saw it running into her bathroom. And where the girls live, it's, there's a lot of, um, Wilderness is not the right answer, but it is for California, it's wilderness. There's a lot of hills and empty spaces. So there's a lot of extra wildlife. And so uh, Katie's like, you need to help me. And I said, honey, I'm 45 minutes away and I'm doing a live video in 12 minutes, now 10 minutes, and I gotta go, good luck. And so I said, call an exterminator. And she goes, well, how do I find one? And I said, well, Google it. And she goes, yeah, but what do I Google? And I, cause I said, I don't want her to kill the mouse. Oh gosh, she goes, I don't care if the mouse dies. So, and she goes, I can't sleep here. So I said, well, you can come stay at our house. I'm like, meanwhile, I have to go live right now. So leave me alone. <laughs> oh my goodness. The things I, and I said, oh, and by the way, do not call Colin because Colin is the type of guy. He's the nicest guy in the world. Obviously, as most of you know, they live across the street from each other in five houses down. I said, do not call Colin, leave him alone. He has to work um, because I know her next call was going to be to him because he's so close and he works from home. But I told her, do not call him. You leave him alone. So we'll see. I don't know where that's going to end up. Uh, your guess is as good as mine. Uh, so it's all, oh, Shannon's saying great shirt. Yes. We'll talk about that. Um, so Margaret says, yes, mice are an emergency. Uh, so you guys are liking my shirt. I had forgotten. Thank you for the reminder. I, I totally, I, I totally forgot. Uh, this morning we actually started doing videos for, uh, October and I said, Ooh, I'm going to throw them all off and wear a different shirt. Yes. This is going to be a shirt that will be available on our website soon. I was really hoping for club members only for club points. I was really, really, really hoping it was going to happen this month. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to make it. Um, let's see. Because Saturday, what day is Tuesday? I mean, Monday. If you shipped them to Utah on Monday, Kenny, could it get there before the first? 
should, but... It should. Okay, we'll see. I'm going to try. I'm going to try really hard. We have quite a few things actually planned for Club Points. Um, it's going to be... It's just kind of a mess. It has to be released at the end of the month, blah, 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 because of the website, blah, blah, blah. But I think what it's going to do, because remember how I said I wanted you to be able to spend your Club Points on really cool stuff? Well, this would be one of them. However... It is impossible, I've talked to many coding people, it is impossible to have that option on my website where you can only use club points, you can't spend money um, to get things. And I'm like, seriously, you people, like, it's like Chuck E. Cheese. You go to Chuck E. Cheese and remember when they used to have those tickets and you'd give them 100 tickets and, and it was worth, you know, a dollar and you could buy, so, you know, blah, blah, blah. Well, you can't do it on a website. It just doesn't work like that without being able to buy it because I wanted you not I wanted you to have to use your club points but now it's looking like that's not an option so what it's gonna look like is it's gonna look like just the website and it's gonna have a special spot it's gonna say club points as a special option but the one thing I was able to do was to make sure that only club members can see them and buy them Okay, so if you're not logged in, you won't see them because the computer doesn't know you're a club member. So you need to be logged in. This is not yet, by the way. This is not yet. This is in the future. This is in the future, not yet. Okay, the plan is, I should say that, the plan is that it'll say club points, club members only will be able to click that and then you'll see a page of items that you can one, use your club points on or two, sadly, be able to purchase. That was just me thinking I wanted it all to be bonus stuff, but you will be able to per you will be able to purchase them with your club points. So I have to figure out like how much everything is and stuff like that. But then that way, you can just add it on to an order, and then it can just be shipped and things like that. So I, it's just gonna be easier because originally I was gonna have Faylene ship it, but you guys all know Faylene is like slammed. She cannot keep up with the emails. And so I'm like, I cannot add one more thing to her list. And so we're going to have Utah do everything. Um, that's the plan. Uh, also, just because I'm thinking um, of Faylene, Faylene is on vacation for today and tomorrow. So if you have emailed our office as of last night, and I think she signed off like at 8.45 at night last night, um, until from, from then until pretty much Monday morning, she won't, no one's going to see your emails. I mean, I kind of tried to look in there, but I'll be honest, you don't want me to get involved because <laughs> I don't know anything. Uh, Faylene does a lot of things. I have no idea how she does it or what she does or anything. And that I think is the, um, the ideal manager because I don't want to micromanage her. She does her job. I do my job and we stay in each other, our own lanes. Right? Uh, so I'm not going to even pretty much try. Uh, so just a heads up. And if you see anybody saying, hey, I haven't heard anything, it's going to be an extra day or two because she has off today and tomorrow. Uh, she, as of last night at 8.45, though, she had completely cleaned out the email box. So anything before 8.45 was completely taken care of, which was amazing. And I was very proud of her for that. Uh, let's see. So I want to check in. Um, well, things go on the site at different times. Um, you know what? Um, I don't, I don't know. I, I, we really, there's, and there's only a few items so far, you guys, because my, my main issue was figuring out how to do the website. And so I just grabbed, I just bought, I just ordered a couple different things. And then I'm like, okay, I got to figure out the website before I order more things, because why order things if you can't put them on the website? Right. Um, one thing that, another thing that will be on there is this, Ooh, is this cute little guy? Um, technically, hang on. Technically, it is a little jar to drink. It says um, club member. See, it's the same logo. I think we're going to stick with this logo for club members because, you know, it's different than the regular logo. Um, you, could, you could use this for a drink. It doesn't come with a straw, so that was kind of weird. But um, it um, it's a cute little jar thing. But I'm actually, because you guys are always giving me such awesome cups, and this is from Shirley. And Shirley, I haven't used this cup in a long time, and I want to tell you why. Because my daughter stole it. Kirsten stole it. She's been using it. And I'm like, give it back. So we fight over my cups. Um, but now I finally got that one back. Um, so I'm actually not going to use this um, for uh, a drink. I'm actually going to probably end up letting this go. And I'm using it for pens and scissors and things like that. So here's just an idea of what it's gonna look like. I just think it's cute because it's pink. Um, I mean, what else is there, right? So I, I just wanna show you like what it looks like. Um, 
it's most it's kind of tall so only tall things will fit in there you don't want to really put your markers in there because you don't want to store them that way um but i could store those in there so yeah so look at that so that's kind of cute i don't think the ruler goes in there i don't know we'll see i'm i'm just thinking that that's what i'm going to put it in i just think it's a cute little cup that'll be on the website or you could use it for a drink i don't you can use it for whatever you want um or ooh, i could put little succulents in here kenny i could put dirt in here fill it with rocks on the bottom and then put dirt on the top and then put a succulent in it oh so don't get this you guys because i need more <laughs> And I think most of the items, um, you know, once they're gone, you know, it'll take a while to get them back. You know how life is with things now. In fact, uh, I literally, you know, so on your computer, you have all those tabs up there. I, on average, how many tabs did I have open, Kenny, that one day when you were making fun of me? Do you remember? A lot. I counted them. I think it was like 32, right? Does that sound about right? I think it was like 32 tabs I had open on my internet browser. Because like, uh, well, and especially now, I had to restart my computer just now. So, I mean, this morning, last night. But, uh, so I'll probably only have like six right now. But I'm tracking, no, I have more than six because I'm tracking six different shipments and I, each one has its own window and so I click on it and then I refresh it to see if it, if the boxes have moved and then I go to the next one refresh it to see if those boxes have moved <laughs> refresh the next one um, because shipments to try to get them in are just like uh, so hey any update on the pink Stephanie bags Kenny I know they're in the United States but is how, how much further did they get um, I don't know I thought they should have they should have had that by now, right? Yeah, today might be the day. Okay. Um, okay. So pink bags coming soon. Stephanie, pink bags are coming soon. That's exciting. Uh, let me see. Oh, Betty wants you to like and share. Yes, thank you. Monkey head, hi Karina, says, um, I might need two. One for a drink and one for items. Uh, yeah, buttons, yeah. Um, Oh, Lynn has one of the original plastic tumblers. Oh, Lynn, we can't talk about that one because I bought so many of those. Ken got mad at me and it took us years to get rid of them. Oh my gosh. But yes, I'm glad you enjoy that. <laughs> I don't even have one of those anymore. Uh, hey, Joy Steen's here. How should the markers be stored? Michelle, I recommend horizontally. Horizontally is the best. So when I have it in my Terry bag, which by the way, my markers are missing. Remember last time we did a video, Kenny, we couldn't find my markers. They are still missing. So I don't know what little gremlin came in here and got them, but they're missing. But I have mine in my, um, I think it's the Terry bag, but I store it on its side. Uh, Mary Lynn says the more tabs you have open, the slower your response time. That is true, and it's true in my life, in my brain too. You're right. Um, but I seriously have to have all those things happening because then, you know, because I have two, two email boxes I have to monitor. Then I have um, the back end of our website, and that one usually has four different tabs for the back end of our website. Then I have one for our website. Um, what else do I usually have? Then I have two Google Sheets that I have to pay attention to every time I take a breath. Um, what else do I always have to look at? Oh, and then I, of course, have Amazon open because they, they send me my groceries. So I have Amazon open. Um, what else do I usually have open, Kenny? I think that might be it. Plus any shipments I'm tracking. So yeah, I know, it's crazy. It's crazy, I'm trying to think. I think that's it. Um, Lady J Crafty said she just, uh, she loves my products and she just ordered the owl dye. Yay! Yay! Um, how, uh, Gloria wants to know, how do you store your Z Fold die set? I have it in one of these large envelopes. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, so like for example, on the large envelopes, I have all of my envelope dies in here. Oh, hmm. There's a sneak peek here. I'll show you a sneak peek. This is not coming out until Black Friday week, but dun, 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 are you ready for this? Dun, 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 dun. Now that we have bigger machines, now we can have an A2 envelope. That is a sneak peek. And the good news is because it's such a large die, I hate charging a lot. That really bothers me. So what I'm doing is I'm putting it on Black Friday week and Black Friday specials are 40% off, then your club discount also. So you're getting extra, extra discounts on Black Friday week. So this is gonna be on Black Friday week, just saying. But I have all of my envelope related dies in here. So for example, I have my scalloped 
I, I mean, I have open ones too, but this one, I lost this one, so I had to get a new one. So I have this one. Then I have the straight envelope liner die. Then I have, you know, all the pieces that go with it. Then I also added in here the ones that say celebrate and hello, because those are drop-in ones. And then also thanks and friend. Those are drop-in ones and new drop-in ones, but I can't show you those, but there are three new ones coming up. I don't know if those are Black Friday, but they're coming soon also. Three. Wait, three or four? Three, three, three. These three. These three. Three. Woo! So lots of exciting things, but that's how I have all of my envelopes. So that way, when I'm ready to do the envelope, I literally grab this contain this envelope, the large envelope. So if you're in the kit club, you have a lot of these already, right? So that's what I stored in. Now I'm trying to find the Z fold one because you asked about that one and I'm not seeing it here. It might sadly be packed because, um, oh, I love that one. Um, because of the move, which we're gonna have to move again soon. <laughs> But I sort in these, okay, the big large ones. Um, like here's the um, triangle box one, here's the treat box one. Um, yeah, so those are in there. Um, good news, a little bit of fun news is, I'm trying to see if I still have it. I don't have it in here. Okay, a little bit of good news, which is very exciting, is Tiffany and I are scheduling her visit. It looks like it's gonna be the end of October. And, oh, she won't be here for a Thursday creative corner because she's gonna the plan is for her to drive over Thursday night and then leave Sunday after church so I'm thinking maybe we'll have to do a special edition live or something because that'll be really fun huh Kenny wouldn't that be fun can you imagine the two of us on a live video Blah! it'd be too much fun <sighs> okay um let's see what's the date what was the date for Tiff, uh -huh. I can't I can't say that out loud yet because you and I have to discuss it and I have to confirm with her before I say a date. You have agents and previews and no, 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 it's the end of the month. Oh, okay. End of the month. End of the month. And we have something special at the end of the month too. Okay. So it might work out with that. It might work out. Okay, let's see. Oh, um, hello from Ashburn. Have we found a house yet, Patty? No, sadly. So we're gonna end up probably, Kenny and I haven't talked about it much yet because I think we're both in denial. So we have this rental until December 31st and then we need to, um, so probably five minutes after Christmas, we'll have to move. And uh, so far no houses, no places. So we'll probably have to find another rental, which, you know, keeps life interesting, right? Uh, the good, the only good thing about moving is you get rid of stuff when you move. Um, but we're down to the part where we literally have nothing. For example, I don't have my Z Fold card die because it's in Katie's garage, probably being eaten by mice. No, hopefully not. Uh, no, it's safe. But uh, yeah, so we'll see. You know what? God has a plan. I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. I'm learning to let go of a lot of things, which is actually really good for me because like, for example, my dream home, you know, when we had to sell that and stuff, um, I, I, I realize now I was very attached to that home, very attached emotionally, mentally, physically, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I loved that home and you know what? God gives and God takes away. Um, I was probably just too mentally or emotionally invested into that house and I needed to let it go because I was focusing more on the house than things I needed to focus on. So it's all good. So I'm learning to let go of things and focus on family. That's one thing that the virus has actually really taught us a lot is I see my family way more now than I ever did. Um, I see my parents um, usually a minimum of once a week now. Um, I see my kids two or three times a week now, which before the virus, you know, we could go a couple weeks without seeing each other. So, I mean, that part, that's good. So, you know, if we don't find a house, it's fine. We'll just rent somewhere else. It's not a big deal. Um, we are down to pretty much bare bones. Like we don't even have all our pots and pans. We don't have our, all our silverware, We don't because it's all in storage. So, which is good. I mean, not storage, because Ken and I are way too cheap to ever pay for storage. It's in Katie's garage. <laughs> so, we, you know, we, we're just, we have less stuff and, I have half my clothes um, and I'm realizing, you know what? I don't need the other half because I don't even know what's in there. So I'll pro we'll probably end up, once we do find a real place to live, we'll probably end up giving most of the stuff in Katie's garage away just because you're, we're learning to live without. The only place I'm not willing to learn leave without 
live without is my craft room. So like right now, I'm still thinking about that Z Fold card and how I don't have it, and now I'm gonna have to go get it. <laughs> I'll just have them send me another one because I need one. So as soon as I figure out something's missing, I have to get it. Uh, let's see. Um, Lynn says the memories that you make in your homes are more important. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, and that I that was hard too because I remember once once we cleaned out the whole house. I will not cry. I will not cry. Um, once we cleaned out the whole house, I was all by myself, and I sat down on one. Oh uh, yeah, okay, we're not going to go there. But yeah, the memories really um, are the important part, and the people, the people. So not going to go there. Um, Oh my gosh, Grinelda has something awesome. She said, her husband always says, I am not the owner of anything, but I am the son of the owner. I love that. I don't think I've ever heard that before. Have you ever heard that before, Kenny? I've never heard that before. I love that. That is awesome. Oh, Shirley says her ex-sister-in-law is packing on a pre-evacuation notice in Wyoming. Oh my gosh, poor thing. Oh, that's awful. That's awful. Um... Uh, pictures on the wall new yeah kind of yes they um they Kenny put I Kenny put this one up there and I put this one up there because he took them down the other one's down so yes they are new um Aunt Becky says let go let God bring happiness that is so true that is so true um let's see Mar Marion says you are so positive I would go crazy with all the moves you know what it is crazy it, it really is crazy but at the same time I try to look at it as an adventure like oh wow new address so the good news is is now that we keep moving so many times the good news is is we um we have all of our mail go to our office because, you know, as we keep moving, you know, we don't have a house. And it was funny because we're actually redoing our will and trust um, because we haven't done it since 2005. And a lot of things have changed. For example, if something happens to Ken and Stephanie, Katie and Kirsten no longer go to Papa and Grandma's house. <laughs> they can live where they are still. Um, so as of right now, the way the trust reads is that Katie and Kirsten m must go live with Papa and Grandma. <laughs> because, you know. 15 years ago, they were little. <laughs> uh, so we're changing our, uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so we're changing our will and trust. And uh, why did I, oh, the attorney said, um, what's your home address? And I'm like, yeah, you don't want that. I mean, literally we're gonna be moving in a couple weeks. I'm not a couple weeks, a couple months. I said, you don't want that. I don't want that on the trust documents. I don't want it anywhere. If you have to use an address, use our office address because we signed a lease for a couple of years there. So at least that'll be our address for a couple of years. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, a sneak peek for tonight. Kenny wants me to share this with you. Also, what else was in the sneak peek? We said, oh, a mystery bag is coming tonight. Limited mystery bag. Um, so do you think that's going to sell out pretty fast? He's thinking it might. So just a heads up, new mystery bag tonight. And if you've ever gotten one of our mystery bags, you know, they're awesome. They're chocked full of yummy goodness and they're really, really cheap. So it's awesome. But we have a few different state stamps. Dun, 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 dun. So do you want to turn the thing? This is the Texas one. And we have, I think, three other states coming. Now, if you live in Montana, I will just let you know right now, Montana is not one of them. So keep in mind, uh, we have, I think there's four states total plus California. I think they added more California to the website, but some states are coming. So obviously there's a lot of people in Texas and so we have Texas stamps. Uh, I don't know what other ones we have because I don't remember. And Kenny is working on a wire. What are you doing, Kenny? Plug in the power. Oh, it's on power. He needs to plug it into power. Okay, so that is a heads up. That is tonight. I, what time? We don't know. It's when Amy decides to. So those are coming tonight along with the mystery bag. Uh, now. Let's think about making a card because that's usually why we're here, right? What time is it? Am I already? Oh uh, gosh, can you imagine? I can chit, chit chat for 27 minutes. That's pretty impressive. Um, it's almost like a monologue because technically no one else is here talking to me because we all know Ken's not talking to me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> did you think that was funny? Mm -hmm. Kenny thought that was funny. <laughs> oh. Three more states coming tonight. Three more states coming tonight besides Texas? Mm -hmm. 
So I said four total. Oh, Three plus one is four. Yeah. Last time I checked. Yeah. Surprise, yes. But Montana is not one of them. Uh, my aunt lives in Montana. My cousins live in Montana. Okay, moving on. So here's the situation. I have a friend and I will. she will remain nameless. I have a friend who uh, is pregnant and um, it's kind of a surprise baby which um you know i honestly don't believe in that i just think every baby is a gift and it's a gift um because if you do the deed then chances are you could get pregnant just saying <laughs> whatever uh, anyway uh so she is actually pr uh so i'll tell you the story because no one knows who it is so it's a friend of a friend no it's a friend okay so she um couldn't get pregnant for years and years and years and years and so uh she did ivf the first time she got a baby. Isn't that awesome? So a couple years later, they said, okay, let's do another one. So they did IVF again, boom, got pregnant again. Miracle, right? Awesome. So they have two more eggs, em embryos, two more babies waiting to be implanted. And they're like, okay, well, you know, we gotta wait till these are older. Let's wait, let's wait, let's wait. Guess what, my friends? with no help at all, she got pregnant. Baby number three. And so that's very exciting, very exciting. What a blessing, right? Uh, be careful what you pray for. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that was not funny. Kirsten, right? And it's not Kirsten, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Kirsten's so afraid of getting pregnant right now. <laughs> Oh, sorry, KJ, if you heard that. Okay, so uh, I'm going to make her a card, my friend a card, because as we all know, babies are blessings, no matter what. Once she gets over the shock, um, you know, it's going to be very exciting. And she doesn't live in California, so I want to mail this to her, and I want to make sure that um, she gets it just to know that I'm thinking about her. And you know what? This is a blessing. This is exciting. So um, if I get it in the mail today, um, she lives a couple states away, so it'll probably take, what, mm, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks to get to her? Hopefully before Christmas? Okay, uh, so what I wanna do is I want to use my cute little rubber ducky because let me tell you, the rubber ducky is one of my favorites. And what I'm going to do, and remember how I always say I use my, ec I keep my extra scraps in here? I do, I really, really do. Um, I'm not gonna cheat today because I'm gonna make a full card, but I do keep my scraps in here. I just want you to see that. So I already grabbed out all the pieces. Now I'm gonna do something a little differently. Normally this is a fold it card, and so it opens and closes to the shaped card. I'm actually, dun dun dun, dun gonna make a card, put this on a card. And what I wanted to do is, well, remember how, okay, so I always said this too. I always have extra card bases laying around. Total random A2 size card bases at, that I've die cut from my die cut machine, from my card, one of these, you could use this one, or one of the other A2s we have. Now. Why do I have a whole bunch of these? One, I always need them. But two, when you, so here I always have the um, dies out. And of course I'm not going to be able to find one because I just said that. Um, they're always out. They're always out. They're always out. I always have tons and now I can't, oh here. Oh, that's a different one. Where, where are they? Oh my word. Okay, well let's pretend because that's ridiculous. I always have one out. Now it's going to bug me. Now it's seriously going to bug me. Okay, take two. No, here's one. Okay. Usually I have them out. I don't know why this is in here. Um, ooh, okay, gosh. Here's another A2 card. Okay, so a lot of times, you know how I always say you have to have one of these um, bases because it's the most important die you'll ever have, blah, 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 because then you don't have to, you know, you can't cut cardstock to make a perfect card. It just doesn't work. So use one of these. Well, another thing I like to say about these is sometimes, you know, you go into your craft area, wherever that is, a closet or, uh, you know, wherever you craft, dining room, you have your own room maybe, I don't know, but wherever you craft and you're like, hmm, what should I make today? What should I do? What should I do? And you're like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. So then you go on the internet and you go, hmm, what should I make? What should I make? And you're on the internet and then you look at the clock and four hours have passed because you've been messing around on the internet. No, don't do that. So what I want you to do next time you go, what should I do? What should I do? This is what I want you to do. I want you to grab this die or one of the similar ones. You could use, you know, you could use this one I have from HSN that has the swish on it. You could use, oh, I love this one too. This is the elegant edge one. You could use any of the A2 size bases grab it and die cut 
Just, keep, just grab random cardstock colors that you know you'll use eventually and start die cutting, die cutting, die cutting. And once you start moving and you start getting your body into creating dies, die cuts, your creative juices will start flowing. You won't need the internet. You will start creating, because then you'll start cutting a couple of these out and you're like, oh, I wanna do this. And then you'll start creating. And then you won't be getting time sucked by the internet, okay? Because internet's great, but you know what? We need to craft more. And so this is gonna get you to craft more. So sometimes I come in here and I just make, I mean, I make cards bases. I don't, I, if I'm not feeling creative, I just make a whole bunch of these and then I can jump into making something creative. So that's just my little tip. So long story to say, I already have one cut. I'm also going to grab the, uh, what's this? This is the, uh, dragonfly and flowers, a two card set. I'm going to grab the grid die behind it. I think this is the majestic. I don't remember what it is. And I am going to, so here's my card base, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the exact same color and I organize my paper. It's all organized. Um, I redid it. So I added an extra um, paper handler from TIFF. I don't, I think I, I used my last one that I have. Um, so now I have one, two, three, four, four holding my paper and it's um, cardstock. It's just so awesome. So first I'm going to grab some adhesive sheets. Um, so as we go, uh, let's see. Okay. I'm going to peel this up, throw that away. I'm going to add this. Now, those of you that saw it, it actually did happen in real life the other day. I die cut in the wrong spot. So I'm still going to trim it. And because I didn't grab the right size, I'm going to trim this size side. And now I'm going to double check and make sure it's the right color. So now this is a sticker. I'm going to take this and I'm going to die cut the, um, can they see it? Oh, they can. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna lay this down and I'm gonna die cut this. Now, if you're looking really closely at what I'm doing, you're gonna see something really, really random on my table over here. I wonder if they can see, can they see that? Or does it get cropped? Adhesive can. Adhesive can? What, somebody said that? No. No, it's not an adhesive can, are you kidding? What? Hang on, I'm trying to line this die up. Has anybody seen it? Are they saying something? I'm taping down the die because it's two dies and I want the frame to cut out. So here, I'll show you what I did. You might want to warn everybody that there's going to be a paper shortage pretty soon. The way things are going. Oh, yeah. I don't, I know. <laughs> Just if they want to get it, they better. Get what? Whatever we have. Whatever cardstock. Okay, well, I'll tell you. So one thing, um, Ken just want me to tell you, there's a severe paper shortage. Uh, yeah, just saying we are having severe issues. We've actually contacted our paper mill and we have tried to order all of our cardstock through what February for the card kits because we can't get it in stock. And so we literally are going to pay them to buy it now and hold it on their shelves for us. So to keep it safe. So there's a severe shortage, anything on our website, if you want those colors, Honestly, if I were you, I'm just telling you now, if you can afford to, and I'm just being honest, if you can't afford it, honey, don't worry, it's okay. But if you can afford to do it, I would go to my website and buy $100 worth of cardstock to get it free. I mean, get free shipping, <laughs> get it free, Woo! No, to get free shipping. Uh, because let me tell you, there's a card, a card a paper shortage. Um, I don't know why it's the supply chain situation. It bites. I don't know. It's, it's weird. So Kenny just wants me to tell you if there's colors you're thinking about getting, he recommends you get them now. Okay. Luckily we have some in our warehouse that we can be able to use a little bit. At, I mean, how, how much, um, cardstock do you think you'll have for a while? Do you know? I mean, some colors are just gone. Yeah, some, are gone. some are just gone already. Gone, 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 gone. But any colors that you do like, and you like to stock up on, get them, just saying. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm running this through. Did anybody notice what is on my desk, by the way? Did anybody say? Cheese Whiz. Cheese Whiz, oh, you, you said that. You did not say that, somebody said that, okay. No, whipped no. cream. Whipped cream, whipped cream. This is the breakfast of champions. Cookie and I live for this stuff. So um, as you guys know, I do low carb, but I literally buy these um, on Amazon Prime because they deliver it to your house like four at a time. I think they're $3.99 each, but um, oh, I don't know 
all gone. It's almost gone. But yeah, um, bad, bad, wonderful, beautiful habit. Joystein wants to know if there's going to be more vertical dies coming. Joystein wants to know if there's going to be more vertical dies coming. You just did one, right? We did the thanks, and we had the two that came with the pop-up die with HSN that HSN actually reordered. Um, I don't know, my love. I will have to check. But I know you guys love that thanks die, so. Um, what? How about the pumpkin fold? It? Pumpkin yeah. fold it, I think is being shipped on the 29th of this month to us. So we should have it by I'm guessing the third. The third. That should be enough time. Yes, yeah, September 3rd, hopefully. Um, I did try to look at some dates. They are starting to get some stuff out to us, which is fantastic. Okay, so what I did here was I die cut this and I'm trying to lift this up. Uh, and what I have is this gorgeous background. Now I have all these fun little pieces, but um, I've, I've had to start cleaning up in here, so I'm not gonna glue these everywhere. Oh, I wonder if Katie got the mouse. Should I call her? Okay, so vote. If you guys think I should call Katie to find out about the mouse live on camera, let me know. They're impressed by your whipped cream and diet coke diet. You're impressed by my whipped cream and Diet Coke diet. Thank you. Well, you know what? Whipped cream has less carbs than, say, a gallon of ice cream or chocolate chip cookie dough. So it's what I, how I get my sweet taken care of, my sweet, you know, how you just want yummies. So I'm peeling this off because remember now it's a sticker and I'm literally gonna lay it on the back of my card. Now, this is just tone on tone. So this is gonna look like it's embossed. Look at that. Oh, it's a little crooked. I hate when I do that. Hang on, I gotta refix it. I mean, I gotta fix it. Everybody says call her. Call her, okay. We'll call her. Entertainment value alone, right? Okay, hang on. Uh, Katie Burner. Uh, I will, I'll warn her so she doesn't say any bad words. <laughs> so, isn't that pretty? Tone on tone, exact same color. Hang on, where's my, where's my, how do you do it on, um, speaker is it on speaker hello Hi. oh hang on i'm trying to put you on speaker because um you're live on my video so what ended up happening i'm still trying to deal with it okay but like did you get did you find someone that can come take care of it not until 4 p.m four to seven. Oh, four to seven yeah i tried like three different places and they all said it's gonna be a minimum of four hundred dollars to get rid of a mouse yeah. Crap, your dad will do it for less than that. I know. Colin's going to come over soon <laughs> after a work call. But it came out again and oh. then ran back in. In where? Into the bathroom? Into the closet, yeah. Oh, it's in the closet or the bathroom in the closet? The coat closet. The coat closet. Okay, so you, you got to block off the bathroom door. Oh, you don't even want to go over there. What am I saying? Okay. Are you just, well, what? I have the garage door open, but like, I'm so nauseous. I know, did you open your sliding door so hopefully it will um, run out there? No, because that's where they live. The mice outside. live outside, okay. Yeah, I tried to explain to everybody that you live literally in the California wilderness. Yes. Is more or less what it is, right? I mean, that's yes. kind of what it it's is. It's the middle of nowhere. It's, fr it's what? The middle of nowhere. Middle of nowhere? Yeah, I guess you are kind of in the middle of nowhere. Well, that bites my love. I'm sorry. Yeah, someone says, does she have a cat she can borrow? Oh, no, she doesn't do. Somebody on my video said, does she have a cat she could borrow? No. But the sad thing is, is um, Cheerio wouldn't have gotten it either, Katie. Cheerio, Cheerio would have ran the other way. So it's not like Cheerio could have helped you. Our cat that passed away wouldn't have helped her. Um, Oh, honey. Okay, well, at least Colin's coming over. Yeah. You guys are boring. Okay, we're boring everybody, so um, uh, I guess that's it. Okay, I love you. I love you too, honey. Good luck. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. She sounds like she's been crying. Poor baby. I told you she'd call Colin. I told you. I told you. I called it. I totally called that one. I said she's going to call Colin, and I told her not to. But 
Colin, being the guy he is, is already on his way over there. Okay, so what I did was I used my new Marigold because I didn't want to do tangerine because that's way too bright. Look at that. Look at the difference. Whoops, where are we? Okay, look at the difference. So this is marigold, this is tangerine, and then that would be just be. So that's gonna be for my background. I gotta put my tangerine away. Um, that's gonna be for my background. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to die cut. Well, I might, oh, I might cheat. I might cheat. Any updates on leaf dyes or? Leaf? Show for polar bear dyes. Uh, not that I know of. Um, I'm trying to think, I feel like, I know the one, the, the, the bear tree with the leaves is being shipped right now, has already shipped. Um, and they had to get out to us a couple new, um, uh, other dyes. So they had to put a hold on anything else. So, so far, um, Nothing else. A lot is being shipped this week, though. I do know that, which is exciting. Very exciting. So we're going to... Okay, okay. you guys have to vote on this one because I can't decide. What was that? Did you hear that? Okay, turn the other camera. Please. Okay, so here's the background. Here's what I got so far, okay? That's what I have so far. Do I use the banana gingham? Or do I die cut it and use the... I believe this is lemonade. Lemonade. Um, actually, let me die cut it really quick so you can see what it looks like. Um, so think about it. Lemonade or dun, 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 banana. And lemonade's the lighter one, but let me run it through so you can see it. This poor table. This th When we move, Kenny, we're just going to have to get a new table. This table's not going to really work. Okay, so ready? Lemonade. Or banana. Lemonade. Banana. So you guys decide. Lemonade or banana. Rat paper handlers. Do you have any updates on any? Um... No, they don't have anything either. They, yeah. Uh, t Tiffany items are totally, completely out of stock right now um, from the manufacturer. So we, they don't have anything. Uh, so, banana or lemonade, my friends, you get to pick. You get to pick. And meanwhile, I am going to die cut. While I'm waiting for that, I'm going to die cut. Oh, sorry, I used the thankful pad. I know somebody's going to ask. I used the thankful pad for the lemonade. And the cool thing is, is it actually has, oh gosh, wait, hang on, hang on. Don't, stop voting, stop voting. I'm going to do this one real quick. Is it too late? Hang on. Wait, wait. Wait, because I want to do the marigold gingham too. Oh, and you guys, Kenny said I get to go to um, Olive Garden today after I do all my videos. That's how he get, pays me. Okay, so we do, okay, flip it, please. Oh gosh, now I'm torn even. Okay, so here's the banana, here's the lemonade, or, uh-oh you guys, here is the marigold. Oh my gosh. So if you already voted, if you want to change to Marigold, you can. I will allow it. If you want to change to Marigold, I will let you. Meanwhile, I'm going to cut out a couple uh, wings. So you guys are voting. Banana, Lemonade, or Marigold. And you're going to have to vote on wings too now because I don't know which one I want. Okay, what's winning so far, Kenny? Um, banana was until you. Until I changed it. Banana was winning until I changed it. So if you voted banana, if you want to change to marigold, type in marigold. If not, we can stay, you can keep your vote on banana. And where is, I need a banana color. Oh, here's one. Scraps. Okay, so Kenny, which one gets the body? Banana. Banana still wins the body, huh? Oh, I'm disappointed. Okay, fine. No, I'm kidding. Okay, so here we go. So banana's getting the body. And this one, don't worry, we're going to save this one. It's going to go in my envelope. So this is going to go on the body. Okay, hang on, let me adhere it really quick. And then what you guys get, oh, look at that fun purple. 
Oh. Only have about half likes. Oh my gosh, only half of you have liked my video. You guys have to make sure you hit like and subscribe and share and all those good things because the internet people like that. Okay, so there we go. Now you guys get to decide what um, wing. So banana, lemonade, keep in mind lemonade is back here, or marigold because marigold is here. So marigold is the back of this, lemonade is the, I'm sorry, banana is the gingham, and lemonade is the back. So you guys get to decide which wing goes on there, okay? You guys decide that. Da, na, 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 na. Marigold, banana, lemonade. Oh, I said that wrong. Marigold, <laughs> lemonade, banana. 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 Oh my gosh, just flip it while I, well, because they got to like look at me while I talk. Um, so the baby started eating avocado the other day. Yeah, they don't care about it too much. Uh, but Miller started, you can't call it crawling, but let's just say if you put him over there, he can be over there in a couple minutes. Um, he's kind of like, my mom used to call it army army crawling because he, he like crawls, but his tummy's like right next to the floor. So he just kind of like goes like this. And, and he literally can scoot. Oh, and, oh, I'm sorry, he doesn't go like this. He goes like this. And then he moves his back. And then he goes like this, and he moves his back. But he gets around, which is kind of fun. It's very fun. It's actually very exciting. It's a little crazy, but it's fun. Okay, so who won, Kenny? What Marigold won? Marigold Easy. Marigold Easy, I like it. I like it like that. Okay, so we're gonna add, I should, um, I should, this video is going kind of long, so I won't, I could have um, inked it. Okay, so I'm gonna add this. Now, I need to do the beak also because you need to have a beak the same color as the wing, if you ask me, and that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna grab this and I'm just gonna die cut just a little nose. So actually what I can do is just tear that up and just go like that and run that through my die cut machine. <clears throat> oh, I almost choked on my spit. <laughs> okay, so now I have, dun 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 dun, I'm gonna just snip this in two spots. So I'm gonna snip it, oops, I'm gonna snip it there and there. Kiss Cut Pads, they are packing them right now. So those will be shipping um, hopefully within the next week or two. And I'm gonna add this, but the Kiss Cut Pad, you really don't need it on this one because it's, you know, there's really only two pe one piece because the, le the wing is separate. Okay, so I'm gonna add that right there. Look how cute my ducky is. And I'm gonna add him to my little card. Good news is, is we do have the rubber ducky in stock. <laughs> oh, good times. Okay, so let's move him over a little there. And then I want to add a little something something. Hang on, where's... Uh... I want to add, you should switch it so they're looking at something and besides nothing. Uh, oh, let's see, I grabbed some stamps. Um, I was gonna do congratulations. I still wanna do something right there, but hang on. So I'm gonna do congratulations. And then um, I was also thinking maybe not and maybe just doing sending you lots of love because I kind of think that's a little bit more important right now, sending you lots of love because I think she needs that more than anything. Um, so I am going, oh, oh, I have this in a spot, hang on. Oh gosh, I need Tiffany to come visit me. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, look, so in one of my, I have a little, I have a little tab. Are you gonna flip it? I have a little tab, look, and it says nested dies. Look at that, my friends. And what do I have in my nested die se section? I have, dotted ovals, I have dotted tags, I have the, whatever we call that, scallop, I have the stitch circle, I have the scallop circle, I have the scalloped rectangles, uh, and that is all I have in this one. So what I'm going to do is I am going to Oh, let's see, hang on. So the nice thing about clear stamps and dies that you can see through, you can actually like grab a die and lay it on top and go, oh, okay, well that won't look good. Oh, you, they gotta switch this. Okay. 
I answer people's questions. Okay, so there you can see like, oh, that doesn't fit very good. So I'm gonna put that back and then I'm gonna grab one of these and I'm gonna say, let's see what that looks like. Oh, that looks good, but that kind of looks big. What if we did a little smaller? Oh, look at that, that fits there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do both of those in different colors and then look at that, my friends. There is a method to the madness. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put those, well, I'll just leave those out. That's the Karen bag and you'll probably never see the Karen bag again, just kidding. Okay, um, so what we're gonna do is I'm probably going to grab some marigold and some, we didn't use much banana, so I probably won't do banana. Kenny's trying to, he would switch the camera, but he's busy um, typing. Um, so we're going to, is that passive aggressive when I say it like that? I don't know, I, I'm trying to understand like what passive aggressive really means. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm going to die cut this in marigold and the smaller one that I'm gonna stamp on in lemonade. I'm gonna lay that down and I'm gonna run this through just like that on my scrap paper because you know, my friends, now that paper's <laughs> more in demand, I'm gonna be using more of my scraps. Okay, so like, you know, seriously, this is all insanity if you ask me. Okay, so now what I have, because I have my cute little guys, before I adhere this yellow anywhere, I'm going to stamp it to make sure it's perfect. Because if it's not perfect, I'll wanna redo it, and then I'll have to deal with that. Um, so we're gonna lay this down, face down. We're gonna grab a small block, which I'm gonna grab dun, 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 a small um, I think I've always done it at 10 a.m. Or I try, I always try to do it at 10 a.m. The goal is always 10 a.m. But now that I'm helping with the babies, we never know. We just, it, it's just, we never know. But I shoot for 10 a.m. I really try to do 10 a.m. Okay, so I'm gonna grab some scrap because you know, you always wanna scrap, stamp on scrap first. That looks awesome. So then I'm going to ink that up again and I'm gonna stamp right there. Oh, okay, and then whoop, I gotta bring put the stamp back. And now what I'm gonna do is I am going to adhere that, cover that before that monster gets anywhere. I'm going to adhere that to this. I want it to dry a second longer, so I'm gonna do it this way. Just like that. Look how cute that is. She will love this. And then I'm gonna add adhesive to this and add this right here. And I'm thinking I want to add a piece of ribbon on my cute little guy's neck. Now, the good news is, is Stephanie went to the warehouse. Oh, you can flip it. Or maybe not, oh, okay. Well, Stephanie went to the warehouse and look what she did. I did this. I collected all these ribbons and then guess what I did? I left the box there. So Kenny had to bring it home. Luckily, he was there. And so we are going to find some ribbon. And, ooh, actually, okay, hang on. So let's see some ribbon. Now I gotta organize all this eventually. But in the meantime, we can do this. So white. I'm gonna find some colors that match and I will let you pick. You guys get to pick. And I'm not, I really don't wanna do pink or blue because we don't know what it is. So we're not gonna pick one of those and it wouldn't match, so that would be weird. Okay, let me see if I have any other options in here that would work. Oh, this is that muslin type one. That one's kind of cool. Um, hang on, let me see. Is there any chance of this card coming back? What card? Oh, who asked that? Somebody on uh... Who asked that? Find that name. Who just asked about the Friends Forever Step Up card? He's gotta find it. He can't find it. Okay, the reason why I'm like, whoa, because, who? Nicole. Nicole. Good question, my love. Because, guess what? I actually just sent that file to the dye people, literally, I think last night. <laughs> it was either last night or the night before. So I've already sent it away to get new samples. 
and it will be the exact same because those of you that already have it, I don't want you to go, oh. So what we're talking about, uh, can you show them your screen or no? Okay, Kenny's gonna try to find out, see if he can get it. But uh, that one, yes, is coming back. It will be coming back. And it will be the same as the other version. So those of you that already have it, don't have to worry about getting it. You know what I mean? I try to do that as much as possible. Okay, so you guys get to choose if we're going to do, and here are the colors, maybe we'll do overhead. Can you do overhead in the meantime? Or he's still working on trying to do that. I guess I could have flipped it, I'm sorry. Okay, so we have natural, I guess that's the best way I can say it. Natural, hang on, let me get my card. Natural, white, big yellow, or little yellow. And it's gonna make a little um, like collar for him. So little, yellow, big yellow, white, or natural. You guys get to decide. Da, na, 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 na. Meanwhile, I'm gonna try to clean up a little. Na, na, da, na. So you get to pick natural, white, big yellow, or little yellow. Big yellow or little yellow. And the reason why I kind of need to clean up a little is because after we're done with this video, I have to go back to doing more videos. And I will want a clean area. So luckily, the little this little guy is in stock. And I've wor I'm working on trying to get these a little smaller so they will fit perfect in here and you don't have to cut them down. I am working on that. You'd think these things would be easy, but let me tell you, they're not always. Okay. So we're adding these. We're adding these. Again, sneak peek to, uh, for tonight. Mystery stamps and some state stamps. I wonder if your state will be represented. Keep in mind, if you live in Montana or a state like that, chances are no. Sorry because I have to sell a certain amount, otherwise I will um, be extra homeless. <laughs> okay, and start saving all your scraps, you guys. Really, seriously, like look, this is going in my new scrap pile because I gotta save everything now. <sighs> okay, whoops, these gotta go in here. Kenny, do we have a winner yet? I mean, a, a win yeah, a winner. Oh, Kenny's working on something, so I have to look. Um, I'm seeing a lot of natural, ooh, lots of natural. Lots of natural. White or natural? Wow. Okay, I'm seeing more natural. So we're going to go with natural, you guys. So I'm going to take this one and I'm going to peel this up. I don't, you guys, honestly, I don't think I've ever used this one. I don't think I ever got this one. Oh, Kenny's going to show you the image of um, what Nicole asked about. So he's going to show it to you from his computer screen, which is really cool. So that one, that's the one he was talking about. I mean, when Nicole was asking about. So that one's gonna come back eventually. I don't know when, because I'm just now sent away for samples. But uh, eventually that one will be back. Those of you that already have it, you will not need to buy it again, because it will be the exact same. And do not buy it again. But just a heads up, if you miss that one, you will be able to get it eventually again. Okay, cool, thank you, Kenny, that was awesome. Thank you, Nicole, for asking. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm literally just gonna tie a cute little bow. Whoops, maybe. My dad's birthday is next Tuesday the 29th, and so we're having him over for dinner on Sunday, but I'm not cooking and neither is Kenny. So we're gonna have to get food to go. Okay, so I'm just gonna tie this little bow. Tie this little bow. Oh, this is a little tight. Okay, hang on. Okay, hang on. Whoops, I'm grabbing the wrong thing. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, hang on. Oh my gosh. Where is that darn thing? There it is. That looks horrible. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to, I kind of didn't have my legs the right size, but it's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna trim this, I mean, pull this a little. Oh, somebody's texting me. And so what I am doing is I am cutting this and I am trimming this. And there we go. Now, I do need to finish the back, so I'm going to add my stamp. Uh, let's see, I'm going to add a cross or a cookie or a heart. Let's do the heart. 
and I'm gonna grab some licorice. Now, you know what, I really don't wanna do, well, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I really don't wanna do licorice because whoa, black on that yellow would be really bright. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some scratch and I'm going to do the double or the second generation. So the first one's just gonna go right there and then without re-inking, I'm gonna do the second one right here. So it'll be more like a storm color and there you go. So it's a little lighter, it's just a little bit more relaxed and there we go there is our cute little card so here you want to do a, a front version there we go so there's a cute little ducky and we're gonna open it up and it says sending you lots of love and then we signed it right there on the back now personalized stamps my friends are up to taking up to 12 weeks now just a heads up uh, so Yikes, let me tell you, everything is just falling apart. But we do what we gotta do, right? We're just gonna keep crafting and we're not gonna worry about anything. Uh, so there you go, my friends. That is my cute little rubber ducky. And he is gonna get dropped in the mail and hopefully he'll show up in the next three weeks to its recipient. And hopefully she likes it and um, that is that. Uh, so we have a release tonight. It's gonna be a mystery bag as well as uh, a couple state stamps, which are going to be kind of fun. Dyes too. Some dies too. A couple oh, of word dies, yeah. a couple word dies. Shows you how much I know. But lots of fun stuff coming up. Uh, we're doing our best club shipments. Luckily, we have those in stock. We ordered those so far in advance. We're good on club shipments. Don't worry. Uh, and we're just going to hang in there and not worry about it. Right? Just going to craft, 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 and just have fun. And anytime you want to be creative, but you don't know what to do, just start cutting out A2 bases. And by the time you cut, cut out three or four, boom, you're going to know what you want to do in your creative space. Thank you so much, my friends. Thank you so much for your love, your support and prayers. Um, say a little prayer for Katie. She's already stressed. She's texting me again saying I'm stressed. She's, she's freaking out. So, uh, But thank you all so much. I appreciate you all. And stay tuned tonight where there's going to be a release on the website and then I will see you Monday hopefully around 10 a.m. Pacific time depending on the baby schedule and thank you so much I will see you again soon bye bye